Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. Welcome back to Mang Plays, the best games of all time. Today we're looking at a game that, uh, well, it was very, very influential game, I think this one is. Uh, in comparison to, I mean, most of these games on the list are fairly influential, but not all of them. But this one I think is pretty, pretty high up there for influence. And that's Thief the Dark Project. From 1998. Developed by Looking Glass Studios. Uh, I have the game all tabbed right now, so you can't hear the uh, main menu sound. But if you really are interested... Yeah, great. Right, so Looking Glass Studio developed uh, a number of fairly well-known games back in the 90s. Uh, Ultima Underworld 1 and 2, System Shock, Thief the Dark Project, uh, Thief 2, System Shock 2. You know, these are these are pretty big, big titles. Uh, they weren't around for very long as a video game company, and I'm sure there's a whole sordid history there. But, uh, yeah, Thief the Dark Project is a stealth game. No, not... Thief the Dark Project is the stealth game. Um, I mean, if you like stealth, and you really like stealth, this is the game for you. If not Thief 2, I guess. Thief 2 is also on the list, I will mention, released two years later, so we'll get to that. But, uh, Thief is set in a gothic medieval setting, Middle Ages sort of thing, in a, in a big city called The City. And it follows Garrett, who is a, a very, um, you know, protagonist sort of protagonist. Um, cynical and wisecracking and all that good stuff. And he is a thief, and I'm not going to really get into the plot more than that, because uh, you can look into that on your own. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a stealth game, first person, first person stealth game, and I think it's best if we just get into the first mission and uh, go over some stuff. I've not I've played a little bit of the first mission, but not any more than that. And I did like the little tutorial they throw you in. Uh, so we are. Playing the Thief Gold version, which is like the definitive version from back in the day. And uh, that's on Steam. Uh, you can also get it on GOG where it will come with like the uh, the T-Fix light that makes it so it's widescreen and um, fixes a few things and blah, blah, blah. So I have installed T-Fix for the Steam version, and I've also installed an HD texture mod so it doesn't look horrendous let's just go new game skip training I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. 
The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place, and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Sneak into Lord Bafford's manor and case the place. The well house in back is your best bet if you can get the key from the guard. Blackjacking or pickpocketing him would be quietest. Then find Lord Bafford's prized jeweled scepter and redistribute, redistribute it to yourself. Try to do it without causing too much commotion. It's a very uh, standard, simple job here of just sneaking into a fat lord's... Uh, house and uh, stealing his prized possession and getting out. Uh, so you may have seen there's like three difficulty levels. Uh, the higher you go in difficulty, it will add extra objectives or extra restrictions. So for this mission, for example, I can kill anybody I want, including civilians. But if you go higher difficulties, you can't kill civilians or you can't kill anyone. Um, so you either have to be sneaky or use your blackjack and things like that. Uh, so you start with a sword, a blackjack, and of course a bow with 36 broadhead arrows and 20 water arrows that put out uh, torches, as well as a healing potion. You have 300 bucks, you can spend that if you want on more arrows or healing potions. But a healing potion costs 250. So, for now, let's begin. Alright, so... Thief is all about stealth, obviously. It's very big, and... Compared to practically any other stealth game that you may have played, uh, Thief is much more oriented towards simulation. Uh, so, obviously, light levels, very essential. Uh, you want to be in the darkest of shadows and corners as much as possible. Uh, so right here, uh, you can see in the, the light meter at the bottom is completely dark. So this is a dark corner. I know it doesn't look like it, and that's probably because I have the brightness turned up a bit. Um, but we are concealed here. It would be hard for anyone to see us. So there's that, uh, but then noise and sound. Sound is a very essential component of this game. Uh, distance of sound and the sound that you're hearing is important. You know, hearing where things are happening, hearing footsteps in the distance, but even more important, the material that people are walking on, you and enemy guards and things like that. Uh, metal grates are very loud. Stone, you know, is reasonably loud. Carpet is very quiet. And uh, the, the level layouts and the houses and everything are going to be, you know, kind of designed in certain ways where you have these rugs and you kind of want to stick to rugs because they're quieter and then you have staircases and then you know you have metal grates around that you have to avoid and but then also you want to stick to shadows and there's a lot of stealth mechanics going on so uh the flags in the lower left that's my health it's not it's not like a, a mandatory stealth level in, in certain games from like the 2000s where if you get caught, uh, you have to reload. It's not quite that, but it's sort of close to that. Um, 
you can take down like a guard in one-on-one -on -one combat, but you're gonna leave with less health than you went in, almost certainly. Uh, more than one guard, you're kind of asking for trouble, from what I saw. Uh, so yeah, you want to be, you want to be stealthy. Stealthy is healthy. Hmm. A few too many to try to get by here. So again, this is uh, with T-Fix and HD mod, so widescreen, higher resolution textures, things like that. It looks certainly still dated, but nothing will ever change that outside of an actual remake. Alright, so we got uh, Sewer here. Like I said, I played a little bit of this level, so I know where the uh, the well house is. I'm go this way and this way, and uh, we're gonna pop this down. Oh. Yes, I mean in a lot of ways it does still feel fairly modern. Alright, so here we got uh, this guy. The last time I shot him in the head with an arrow. This time we'll try pickpocketing it. <laughs> Could you possibly be any more helpful? Got it. He's, he's drunk, obviously. No, there's no intruder here. Okay, he saw me. Some other guy. But I'm gone, baby. Of course, you know, normally he'd... I would imagine he would put the whole place on alert seeing some shadowy figure go into the well. Alright, so that was the, the first part. We are inside the manor now. And so now we have a lot of guards and a scepter to find. And one thing that I immediately experienced that I want to kind of stress is stress. <laughs> um, my experience in here the first time I did it was stressful. Inside at last. Because it's not like, like Assassin's Creed, you know, when you play an Assassin's Creed game, especially the newer ones more than anything, um, you never feel really stressed or worried about getting caught. It's like a bummer if you get caught, but then you just can kill everything. You know? Like, especially nowadays in Assassin's Creed, you can just build yourself for combat, not even stealth ever. But uh, even, like, Black Flag or something like that. If I got caught, whatever. I'll just throw down smoke bombs, I'll stab everybody in the neck, and move on with my life. <sighs> um, but here, with... Like the sound and everything, and 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 you like you're hearing enemy footsteps getting closer and closer and closer to you, and you're just like, oh god, is there, you know, because you don't have like perfect knowledge of uh, of guard positions and things like that. Who's creeping around there? Come out and fight Come me! Come on out then. Oh, I'm actually pretty well lit. I'm sorry, I'm talking, I'm not paying attention. I know you're around here somewhere. Don't make me come find you! Oh, God. Oh, this is a lantern, this is not a water arrow. Or this is not a torch, I can't put it out. You just you wait. Got him. What a tub man. Come back out here, you taffer. 
Yeah, so obviously it's not uh, 100% realistic or anything. Guards, or, you know, AI guards are still going to be AI guards till the end of time. Maybe eventually they'll be lifelike. But it's not hey. today. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Take that! Oh, block. Uh, fuck. This way! Shit. I don't know. Oh, God. No, shoot him. God. That did not go well. Yeah, so, um, I'm not very good at stealth. Let's be real clear. Wait, it heals one? I didn't even use a healing potion last time. Okay, it heals more than one. It's just a little slow. Okay. Uh, right. So, I probably shouldn't have drank both. So, just to demonstrate, like, you know, you can take water arrows, shoot torches, to put out the lights, and now we're in pitch black. Oh. Okay, here's a metal grate. So, even though I'm... Crouched and I'm slowly stepping. I mean, there's no mistaking the sound of feet on metal grates. And there's no, like, indicator on your screen of your noise level or anything like that. Um, you have to just be listening and understand and, and looking and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, right. So, like I was saying... It's a very stressful game, I think. It, it, in some ways, it reminds me of playing a horror game. Where you are, you know, outgunned and outmanned and all that sort of stuff. And you're just slowly plodding around and hoping that you can avoid being caught. And that's the whole game, you know. I do have a map, but I couldn't really make sense of it too well. So it's definitely a game that requires and rewards patient gameplay. No doubt about it. Oh, Get knocked out. Easy. Okay. I, I don't know if I should be like blowing through this many water arrows, but I haven't found- I didn't find any way to, like... Oh, shit. Snipe this dude. Ah! Ho -ho -ho! Yeah, I mean, I really shouldn't be killing people, but, you know, just showing you that it's possible, I'm just demonstrating. Um... There's a guy up there. He's creepy. I'm t it's kind of a creepy game. I don't know where he's 
I don't know what his patrol is. Uh, since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Okay, so yeah, you steal stuff and you sell it for money and blah blah blah. No surprise there. I mean, the music is just like, it's like a, it's like an exploring series video, really. Like, it's very, almost monotonous and just droning in the background, just kind of heightening the tension. Coming? I think he's over there. When are they going to bring me my dinner? Oh, God! It's fuck! Know. When are they going to bring me my dinner? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? God, it's, I mean, it's creepy! It's really fucking creepy! It just feels like I'm playing like a weird amnesia game, you know? And there's just gonna be a monster that pops out. See, this is bad. This is bad. That's the last time I jumped for rats. Ah, it's so wet. Mold everywhere down here. I can't tell if they're having like a conversation or. Let's just get in here. Let's get it nice and dark. Okay. I don't like this place at all. It's just a bunch of people walking around. Definitely got a guy watching me. And I know for a fact the other way is basically identical. This corridor with guys watching. So if we can get up to the second floor, maybe we can do some some shenanigan. there's a way for you to just like snuff out a torch you're next to you know but using it doesn't do anything I feel like I'm gonna run face first into a guard god here it's so creepy This goes up. Okay. So needless to say, uh, it's not really a game that I like enjoy. It's a little too stressful. Yeah, I mean, it's a little too st stressful for me. It, it reminds me too much of, like, a horror game. But that does not, uh... That doesn't disqualify it from anything. Like, look, right here, this is just a little metal grate, and you step on it. Now, realistically, I feel like Garrett probably just step over it if need be but you know I 
There's got to be some alternative to that corridor. You know? I'm just sneaking through a brightly lit hallway. Oh, fireplace. I didn't see this. Oh. Okay. Let's be sneaky now. I don't think I have, like, the proper 3D audio setup for you to really appreciate it. Not many people really know about it, I think, but, like, game audio used to be a lot better than it is now. There's a whole history of, like, uh, 3D audio and stuff like that for PC gaming that, um, I don't even really want to talk about it because I don't remember all the specifics, but basically, like, we were on track to have just incredible 3D audio years ahead. Odd noise. Of where we are now. Um, but it was basically just crushed by greedy corporations, I think. Okay, we got him. You can pick up a body and you can drop him and so on and so forth. Now we can pop this guy right in the skull. Oh, oh, oh doggy. Okay, good. I'm pleased with this. Did I just drop down? Is that painful? Is that stupid? Stupid, yes. Painful, no. Oh, God. Help me get him! Thief! Thief! No, you don't see me. Fuck, they see me. Come on out, then! Oh, I blocked it. Oh, shit. There's an intruder in the building. Who was saying that? This guy's like scoping out the sea. Oh, fuck. Right, so I didn't quick save. Uh, cause I was just. I don't. Uh, I think I'm just so used to auto saves and everything. So, yeah, uh, no quick saves equals no saves. So, yeah, that's that. I think I've demonstrated some of the core concepts, at least. Enough to discuss it. So... Uh, obviously you get the levels become much more involved. Uh, as a spoiler, humans are not the only enemies in the game. Uh, I'll just leave it at that, but obviously we didn't encounter any of that. And you do get more equipment and things like that. If we look here, you get, uh, you get fire arrows, moss arrows, gas arrows, rope arrows, noisemaker arrows, holy water. There's a, there's a spoiler for you. Uh, there's lock picking system, flash bomb, gas mines, and so on. And... So yeah, I mean it's it's um Well, okay. So in in discussing the best games of all time, we really have to boil this down to I think a prerequisite to be on the best games of all time list is not universal appeal i think we can we can we can rule out universal appeal for a general best of list i think because practically no game has universal appeal 
maybe you could argue that the number one best game of all time, the single best game of all time, maybe has to be the most universal appealable instead of something that's very niche. I think you could argue that. But for me, if you're going to say the top 100 best games of all time, it's just going to be filled with different best of niches and subgenres and things like that. I think that's what is really what you're going to be looking at. So for here, we have the subgenre of uh, action game that is the stealth genre. And the stealth genre is not crowded. Especially nowadays, I think. Uh, there are very, very, very few dedicated stealth games. There are many games where stealth is an option. There are many games where stealth is encouraged. But very rarely is stealth a principal focus uh, of a modern game. Um, so, like, here is the Wikipedia page for stealth video game, stealth game. And if we look at, um, like, the 2012 to present section, and we look at the things in here, you have things like Dishonored. Um, now, I would say Dishonored 1 and 2 are very good modern examples of a stealth game. But... Even there, I would say stealth is encouraged rather than being mandatory. There isn't really much. There isn't really many mandatory stealth games. We have uh, Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain, which came out. Man, that came out in 2015. That game is eight years old. Jesus, that blows my mind. I still think of that as such a recent game for some reason. Um. Phantom Pain, uh, certainly very stealth oriented, but rarely was it mandatory. Splinter Cell Blacklist is probably, honestly, like my favorite stealth game. I've played through that like eight times, um, but you can play through that game entirely action oriented with like shotguns and assault rifles and never like assassinate anybody if you want. Um, Alien Isolation is a very stealth-focused game. Survival horror stealth-focused game. It actually mentions Styx, Master of Shadows, which is a very stealth-oriented game. Pure stealth. Uh, beyond that, though, it's hard to say. I mean, it mentions Sekiro, but no. It mentions A Plague Tale Innocence. Uh, sort of, I guess. It mentions The Last of Us 2. Yeah, I mean, you can certainly do a lot of stealth in that game, but that's kind of the point, is that stealth has become um, a component. One of many components. Um, sometimes emphasized, but never, almost never, the pivotal focus. Thief is it it's the fucking pinnacle focus of thief is stealth uh and it's 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 very it's like distilled you know it's it's focused it's focused stealth so when you're talking about pure stealth in video games there isn't that much to to talk about there aren't that many like high caliber video games that feature pure stealth. So from that perspective, could you say that Thief is one of the best pure stealth games of all time? I would probably say yes, even from my very brief time with it. Um, and again, it's not necessarily for me, but we've looked at games on this list that are not necessarily for me such as um, Sensible World of Soccer and things like that. So I'm trying to be very objective. And yes, I could just say, oh, well, plenty of people say it's the best game of all time, so it probably is. But 
you know, the question is, why do they say it's one of the best games of all time? And I think that's it. There's really not much like it. I think someone looking for pure stealth wants a, a flexible game that isn't just crouch around uh, and, and dodge patrols, and if somebody sees you, you get busted and you have to reload. That's, that's lazy stealth. You know, that's, that's the horror days of, of mandatory stealth from, like, the 2000s, or, like, the fucking Mary Jane Watson missions from Spider-Man. Um, so they don't want bullshit stealth. And they don't want stealth to be an optional thing, either. Because Assassin's Creed has never really cemented itself as a good entry, and good entries in the stealth genre, because stealth is so optional. Um, you know, it's finicky, it's, it's unreliable, it's hard to tell you know, how stealthy you're being, it's, it's not, um, it's not really the focus, despite what you'd think, and then you get busted, and you can easily just kill your way out of it, and go back to being stealthy, so what Thief does, is it gives you kind of a sandbox, it gives you the basic tools, and then it's up to you to be a fucking stealth god, uh, I, I saw a comment, I can't remember where I read it, where it was like, in older stealth games, stealth is encouraged because the enemies are overpowered. Whereas in modern games, stealth is encouraged because stealth is overpowered. And I think that's true. It's, it's very overpowered in a game like The Last of Us. Not, I mean, overpowered is probably not the right term, but it's very advantageous to you to remain stealthy in a game like The Last of Us and and creeping up behind an enemy to one-shot him so that, you know, you don't have to go through the whole gun combat or anything like that. Um, but here, stealth is, is kind of mandatory because the world and the enemies that you're facing are much more powerful than you. You're, you are designed to be a bit of a weakling when it comes to head-on-head -head combat. So it's not mandatory stealth. Like I said, you can fight your way out of a one-on-one -on -one thing. But I think the sandbox nature of it is really a big part of the appeal. You're, you're creeping along these hallways. You know, you're given this big house. And the way that you proceed through it is up to you. And how you deal with the enemies is up to you. How you deal with torches and, and shadows and sounds and all that. You know, it's all just a sandbox system for you to play around in. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and say that I do think it's probably one of the best games of all time because it is such a shining example of a specific subgenre. I do not think that it has broad appeal, and I think even diehard thief fans would say that it does not have broad appeal. At the same time, I kind of wish that it did get a modern remake. There was a reboot called Thief back in 2014 that was, from what I understand, quite heavily shit on and did not do well. From the review scores, it seems like there's a lot of 7s out of 10s, so it's just kind of like, okay. Um, but I guess for diehard Thief fans, that was probably be, you know, a fucking betrayal. <laughs> I don't really know why, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't pay any attention to it really. So I don't know what all the complaints were for the modern thief game, but I would imagine that it went down a very modern route without really understanding why thief one and thief two are beloved. Uh, here's, the Telegraph's Tim Martin was much more scathing in his review, giving the game two stars out of five and lambasting the rote manner in which each level plays out, forcing the player to conform to one set path through the maps and very rarely allowing him a sense of freedom and challenge. This reminds me a lot of Deus Ex. You know, Deus Ex 1 and 2 
are praised and beloved uh, because of the the open ended the open endedness of the of the level design and the options available to the player, especially the first game, uh, Deus Ex. And then we got Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, and they tried to replicate it, but without really going all in on the simulation aspects and, and the really open-endedness of it and the freedom available to the player. It was more just like, do you want to stealth or do you want to shoot everything? <laughs> you know. Um, that being said, I did like Human Revolution and Mankind Divided, so it's hard to say. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've been talking more about Thief than I have actually played it. Like I said, it stresses me out. It's not a genre that I am particularly interested in, the pure stealth genre. But much like Sensible World of Soccer, I have to I have to give respect where it's due. And I can't really think of a game that offers a pure stealth pure stealth gameplay with sort of the same level of care. Now, the only exception to that might be Thief 2, and perhaps Thief 2 is better, as I think a lot of people do say it is. Although, from what I understand, it's, a, it's slightly more linear. I'm not exactly sure. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I think, you know, I do wish that video games got more and more into like the unscripted, uh, open ended freedom of gameplay than we when we have in a lot of cases. Um, the idea of just like, OK, here's the, the setting you're in. Uh, here's tools available to you take care of it, you know, kind of like that. And, and as actually, I mean, looking at the stealth game Wikipedia page, like I said, they mentioned Last of Us 2, and I actually do really enjoy those sections where there's just kind of a bigger open area and there's enemies all around and it's kind of up to you to, to, to figure it out. And there's tracking dogs and, you know, they've got search patterns and the AI is relatively intelligent and you have options available to you on how to how to do things. Um, but I would say, yeah, for for stealth, Thief, the Dark Project probably still <laughs> beats it out as far as the, the flexibility of the stealth system and the kind of the simulation of it. Yes, the AI is, of course, 90s jankiness. But that's like I said, I wish there was a good modern remake. But I think I'm just rambling and repeating here. So bottom line, if you're really interested in stealth, yeah, you probably have already played Thief. But if not, check it out. You can buy it on Steam right now for like a dollar or, you know, something like that. Get the get the modern fix that fixes things and adds widescreen and stuff. And yeah, give it a shot. Um especially with headphones on, if you can handle that kind of stress and you're interested in serious stealth, yeah, it still kind of holds up to a degree. Like, I wasn't raging at it being janky or anything like that. It just, it just stresses me out. Um, so, yeah, we'll be checking out Thief 2 then in, in a couple years, as far as the list is concerned. But certainly, sure, Thief Dark Project, one of the best games of all time. All right. My name is Mang, this has been Thief, and I'll see you fine folks around.